Yeah, I just have a question kind of based on affirmative action. Yeah. Um, I'm a computer engineer here at UW-Madison, I'm about to graduate. And there's a lot that I've found through research and just general, um, I guess, my studies. Um, not only does affirmative action like help you know minorities, people of color, but also women in general. And there's a lot of facets of engineering, the medical system, and other factors that, because of affirmative action, have helped. Um, I'll just go into something. For example, um, let's say like in the medical field, endometriosis, something like that, has not been studied in women due to so little women being in the medical field. Um, also, for example, like cars, um, the seatbelt is made especially for the male body. They're only tested with male mannequins, so a lot of women are in risk of dying in car crashes at a higher rate. Um, there's a lot of things that benefit from a diverse a group of people, both in engineering and medical fields and education and other facets of the systems. Um, and I was just wondering, without affirmative action, how do you think uh, we can bring these people in to bring a variety of opinions? Yeah, no, I mean, views? just have a meritocracy, right? So you have three white men around you. You can see one, two, three. So if one supports affirmative, me. no, it's okay. If one supports affirmative action, right. it would mean that you would be okay turning to those three men and saying, I deserve the position more than you based on something that doesn't matter more not than something that does matter. I feel like that's one facet of it that we're not also paying attention to is that people that are graduating are graduating from the same schools. They're graduating uh, with, with the same with degrees. Low, with lower test scores though, much lower. Every study of affirmative action, for example, the Harvard case showed that it was nearly 40% lower test scores for people of color versus their white male counterparts and Asian okay. counterparts. And so, so how can, some point, is that, is that like, a, like, why would that happen? Do you wh think why? it's, yeah. Wh wh why, what, why, what causes that, that? Do you think it's just because like well, people of color are more like stupid? No, or, like, of course not. Right. I mean, people of color come from lower socioeconomic backgrounds exactly. that don't prioritize education. So how do we but fix those socioeconomic status? Right, that's, that's an interesting point. Not should we try to penalize white males that are competent to go run our systems and our institutions. So right. those are two different things. Right. So what we're doing is our institutions are now becoming less excellent. Our country is not working like it used to because we basically told people that are very qualified and very competent that, sorry, we're not going to put a position for you here. For example, the U.S. Secret Service. Let me just give you one example, mm -hmm. okay? We can all agree that protecting a president, whether it's Donald Trump or Kamala Harris, is super important, right? right. But now the Secret Service has said, that we want to have 30% of all our agents be women, which, by the way, they have lower fitness criteria. Mm -hmm. So they have less pull-ups, less push-ups, slower mile time. By oh, yeah, that's something that's due to, like, your H Hold on. Like, exactly. Yeah, no, right. no, but that's a, this is this is affirmative action, right? And so, therefore, when... Well, there's, like, fields. Like, for I, feel, I don't think that's a good... Um, let, let, let wait one second, one second. I just don't think that's a good example because, like, women will never be as strong as men, at least Got genetically. It. So that's an interesting question. So I think question. it should be something will, that's will more, women, like, will women be ideologically based. Will like, women be as good at engineering as men, person for person? Uh, not necessarily, but... Okay, well, then, it's, how is that different than the Secret Service example? Well, the problem is that... Because the male mind is wired different than the female mind. By the way, men will uh, never be as good... <laughs> Hold on, I'll prove it to you. Men will never be as good at counseling or psychology sessions as women. Men will never be good as, at nursing or elementary school education as women. We have certain giftings as our brain is wider a certain way. Women are mm -hmm. far better gifted at micro topics, so individual connection, empathetic type conversations, healing uh, people that have uh, past trauma and wound. Men are much better at macro topics, right? Trying to build a building, put a skyscraper up, trying to talk geopolitics, and I'll prove it to you. When you go and you see five women eating lunch, they're probably talking about micro topics, conversations they had, relationships, friendships. Men, they're talking about politics, sports, or the stock market. That's not necessarily oh, true. Oh, yes. You guys all agree, right? I mean, there's a reason no, I'm no, these here. No, no. These, like, are, these are bimodal general truths, right? Of course there's exceptions. but It's not you, a general truth, though. I feel like women have the, cap the capability of, of having have, political not, conversations. Of course they do, but it's not, their, it's not the general wiring or nature of women. It's not. There's no wiring so, for your brain to like Donald Trump. Like, that's not a real well, thing, well, I feel well, like. But, well, wait a second. But you, do you think that men and women are made different in our brains? In our, in uh, our, certain things, but not necessarily. It doesn't, like, like channel what, you to like be a things? specific thing. Like huh? what things? Well, like there's like specific wirings to, you know, like produce certain types of hormones and that's like differences that are genetically. So you don't, you don't think that men are more likely to like contact sports, more likely to enjoy football, UFC, hunting. I think that's because of a societal norm in general, like over, well, I'll, over really, a lot of no, time. No, come on, you're smarter than that. That's not true. Well, Hold on. So why is it There's that, women that play football. So like you, you can't just say course, that. Of course. And, and, yeah. and there so are men that dress in drag, that but those are that. the, 
those are not the, the, the general truth of it. So let me just be clear. You think that there's nothing within the female brain in its constitution that makes young ladies more likely. I mean, being that I'm an engineer, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I feel like there's. So you think if you pick a random lady here that they'd be just as comfortable sitting and watching a four hour football game than they were to go get their hair done with their best girlfriend. Well, I feel like that's kind of diminishing to say, oh, because you're a woman, you will not be able to sit through a four-hour football but is it, field. What, like, is it diminishing to say a man wouldn't want to go get his hair done? No. No, I'm sure you get your hair done, right? <laughs> not really. It's like 10 minutes in and out, like barbershop. Okay, shop. but you still do it. It's but, but the point, again, there are certain things that women will take more seriously. For example, women will take a lot longer getting ready for the day than men. Yeah. Right? Why? Because we're held to higher standards to no, look pretty. No, 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 no. For example, your hair. How short is your hair? It's super short. Mine, it takes, it's going to take longer well, to do, dry. Do you wear right? makeup? Yeah. Why? Because you want to look pretty and it takes... Yeah, that's not important to me because I'm a man. Well, right. But who but made you, you feel that way? But there's something in your but wiring. But you feel comfortable no, no, not no, wearing makeup not a, because it, of a certain reason. Well, but you wouldn't feel comfortable wearing makeup? I can not wear makeup. But why do you do it? I mean, like, right now I'm not wearing, like, anything, really. No, I know, but that's the point is that at some point you wear makeup because there's something within your wiring that says, I want to be presentable to the world, and that wiring, honestly, is I want to find a mate to have children. I mean, children. this question was a vote of affirmative action. I think we're going to No, 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 no it's not actually second. really important because I don't think there's any differences between races, but I think that when it comes to affirmative action, we're saying that there are differences. Right. That we're trying to say that things that don't matter should matter. So I don't think race matters. Affirmative right. action says race what does about, matter. What like, about, like, women also in fields like that? Like, what I well, explained I, earlier. I think that's even more dangerous to be honest with you. If, like, we're going to say that women should be Secret Service agents protecting Trump... Not Secret Service. I'm talking about medicine, engineering, that type of well, thing. Well, hold on. Okay, so l l should we try to have the same amount of female to male OBGYNs? I think it should hold be on. similar to the amount of, like... OBGYNs, the, Like, the general population. So, hold on. 85% of all OBGYNs are, are female. Yeah. So now should we have parity so that... Men I have an OBGYN that's a man. That's not a problem. That's not the point. The point is should we have parity? I think it should be similar to, like, whatever the... Got the it. Okay. So th th you're consistent. So women studying in the OBGYN field will be actively discriminated against so a man can because we must have parity. It's not about people in the OBGYN specifically. It's about people in general. Men were, like, for example, women were not able to vote until, like, less than a like 100 years ago, basically, right? How, what and does that, that have to do with One second. Um, so because of that, a lot of the laws, a lot of everything that's set in place was made by men, was excluding women, was creating, like... Like, like reforms and uh, like certain legislations that would specifically, you know, support men rather than women because or, or, women or support, don't have that or ability. Or support society. I don't think it was always just about supporting Well, for example, men. like like what about like what I so like what I brought up endometriosis or like the seatbelt accident, like all, all this stuff is due because we tend to favor men in specific. Well, so I for, I just don't believe that. First of all, because research I mean, I will go where the money is, you, and so if there was there money in endometriosis research. Not much because well, men don't why. care. Well, that's why. So maybe it wasn't sexism. Maybe it was a monetary explanation. Well, who has the like? Who has the money in a society? Well, actually, actually, women control more money than men in the country. But men, like, like women, weren't able like women weren't able to have bank accounts until like less than a hundred years ago. So they can't really like you know build a generational wealth. Do you, do you think it's been a better thing with women's liberation the last 20, 30 years? Yeah, I would. Do, be, do you think that's interesting? Do you think women are happier in America today than they were thirty years ago? Yeah. Then why are why are they the most depressed group in the history of the species? women are the most miserable they've ever been. Like, why is that? I don't think that's, gen I don't think that's because we're allowed to have money. No, I'm asking, I'm asking that, but it's like more liberation, more college degrees, more birth control, less marriage, I would, I would argue kids. otherwise. I don't know where you, you got that data. No, like, everybody agrees depressed. that women are super miserable, it, like as far as versus 30 years ago. Well, it could be the fact that because women weren't able to go to psych like a psychologist or like or, or maybe it's because they're not doing the one thing that they want to do, which is to get married and have children. Yeah, she said she's saying that. No, it's actually opposite. It's saying that women actually it says women around the world report higher levels of life satisfaction than men, but at the same time report more daily stress. Yeah, so, so we're just held so to type in women antidepressant use 2024. It is well, the highest it has ever but been. But there's like more layers to it than that. It can't just be that. You have is to there? look at why are women more likely to go and talk to a psychologist. There's there, there's the differences in that. So, but I, I just I'm I'm just curious. So, do you think women are generally happier in 2024 than they were in 1964? Yes. 
Okay, thank you very much. But I just had the question of how would you want to fix that? Just there, like there's there's no problem to fix. Pure meritocracy. No, I'm just saying like how how do you bring people with diverse opinions? Oh yeah, I mean like I don't care that much about I care about excellence. So like women, yeah. like you used to be studying I, I don't into care stuff about like endometriosis and stuff I care about like being that. a strong. No, I'm talking about like being able to like look into those type of things like endometriosis, like all this stuff. How do I, we I, make I, that I, safer that, for other are, people without bringing people that care about it? Not that important to me. I want the country we once had, oh. which was the greatest country ever, where we put excellence and we put superior intellect above, like, sensitive racial politics. Not interesting to me. Okay. Because it was a bunch of white men that were, like, running the country, and all of a sudden we've decided... I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just no, saying good. that... No, like, good. That's fine. I mean, but when we used to have a country that was based on merit, we were more successful, and we were a better-run country, and we're objectively not now. Yeah. We're a country I'm just can't saying e- that in engineering, we can't even there's a, a lot president of, from getting shot. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of parts in engineering that because we don't have a diverse look of opinions, then we are putting them like we're putting certain people into more danger, like women in cars. That's like one example. Okay, thank you. That's okay. All okay. right, thanks. You're voting for Trump? <laughs> no. Yeah, I was gonna say. I can't. Yeah, well, you lied to get a hat, and that shows your character. I didn't lie. I said I would wear it. You said if you wear it. I said only if you it. vote, but that's fine. All right, next question.